What up everyone? Back for another video. Another monthly review. We have the month of July-ish. I say ish because it kind of bleeds over. There's no real defined months these days. Kind of centered around July. A little bit the end of June. A little bit the beginning of August. That general time period. So we have six boxes here. We'll go through the items, give them some reviews, and talk about some collectible stuff. So in no particular order, first off we got the BAM box which doesn't have the actual BAM box, just a brown cardboard shipper. For those of you who aren't up to date, BAM box is officially shutting down. This, this is their last six months of boxes. I think this is number, the second one out of the last six, I think. So I think they said they're ending in December. December's the final box, so very sad to see them go. They've always been a cool company. But let's see what we got. First off, we got an autograph from Vanessa Angel. Uh, she was in Kingpin, and she was uh, in Weird Science, the TV show, not the movie, and a few other things. So the range on this is pretty wide. Uh, usually autographs go for like uh, around 30 to 35, but there are a lot of auctions for this one that were cheaper. So if you wanted to wait around for an auction, you'd get it a lot cheaper, around like 20, but if you wanted to buy it now, it was around 35. I didn't watch the auctions to see how high they got, so that's why the range is 20 on the low end, 35 on the high end, somewhere in there which I think is pretty reasonable. Hopefully those auctions went for a little bit more because 20 seems a little cheap. Next we got an art print, Juan Gideon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This is actually a pretty established artist. He does have some uh, comic book experience. He has worked on some comic books, looked it up a little bit, and he's a good artist, but really almost never any value to these prints. Even if you do get the rare one, it's like rarely worth anything. I couldn't find any selling anywhere. There was like one person that wanted like 20 bucks for it and they're never gonna get that. So I think a fair evaluation is like eight to 10. And honestly, I think that's being generous because I don't wanna be rude and say these are worthless, but there's practically no resale value on any of these. They're still nice, he's a good artist. So that's why I think eight to 10 is a fair value on that. Next. We got a poker chip from The Last Jedi. I don't remember that scene, I only saw the movie once, but I think that's still really cool. I actually collect poker chips, like completely random. I I've started collecting coins too, so I don't mind stuff like this, like replicas of coins and replicas of stuff. Like we got that John Wick coin one too. I think they're pretty cool. And it's actually going for a decent amount. It's going for about $20, which is pretty good value-wise. Like usually prop replicas don't sell at all, let alone go for decent value, so 20 bucks is pretty reasonable. Then we got an Invincible pin. Pins are really not selling right now. I know the whole market is in decline, not much of anything is selling, but pins especially, it's just the prices are really dropping on these. Um, same thing, like they keep doing rarities, but it seems like nobody cares about the rarity anymore. Even the rare ones don't sell, and there's no price difference between them. Still a nice pin though. So to give it a fair value, I'm gonna give it the standard like 12 to 15 that I always give these types of pins, because I think that's fair. It's always that same quality, really popular show, they did a good job, I think 12 to 15 is fair. But keep in mind, there was the rare, only 50 made, one that was gonna sell in an auction for five bucks and nobody bid on it, so. And there's other people that are asking like 20 bucks for it, which is just never gonna happen. So a lot of these things, I kinda have to come up with my own value, but my values are pretty accurate because believe it or not, been doing this a little while. So that brings our value on the low end of 60 on the high end of 80. This is just under a $50 box, depending on what state you're in. I think I pay like 48, something like that, around a $50 box. So not getting a lot more than you paid for. On the high end, you're getting like uh, close to 50% more, which is the probably the highest you're gonna see uh, most for the most part these days. And But I really wouldn't value it at that higher end. I would value it closer to the lower end. So a little bit more than you paid for. The stuff was decent. I did like the autograph. The print is never worth anything. It's kind of like how Zobi does shirts. It's like, who cares? It's just kind of there. But it's still a nice print. Did like the prop replica. I did like the pin. Those were all well done. Overall, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It was good. It was worth it. But nothing crazy. So I'm glad that they're not doing a bunch of repeat items. That's kind of what I thought they were going to do. When they announced that they're doing their last six months, I thought they were just gonna like clean out their warehouse and like all the old stuff that didn't sell, like here you go, here it is in a box again. I thought for sure they were gonna do that and they're not, which I'm very thankful for because I've had this box since day one so I have everything they've put out there. So, glad they're not doing that. Good box overall, damn box, six out of 10. Next, Loot Crate. 
using their actual crates again. Last video, that one looked like it was a bomb scare. It was super ghetto looking. But this company's sticking around, but just barely hanging on by tooth and nail. So let's talk about it. First off, we got a shirt. Uh, nothing super special about it. Well, actually a little bit. This is from Poltergeist. I don't think... What? I don't think the image is from Poltergeist from what I remember. I think it's just something that's referencing it. Because I really don't remember that. I It's been a long time since I've seen those movies, so I could be wrong. But what is cool about it, it is glow in the dark. So that's, that's kind of special. I'm still only giving it that $12 to $15 value because glow in the dark is cool, but it's not different enough to merit its own special price. And again, shirts, things like that are just kind of hard to sell. So uh, standard 12 to 15, but I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 because the design wasn't super crazy, but you know, interesting enough. And the quality on their shirts is never great, but it's it's okay. It's like good enough. So next thing we got is a pair of shorts. And this is from Killer Clowns. I was actually just talking to someone about this. We were randomly, I was at work. Uh, checking up on all these prices and doing research and they brought it up and then I pulled that out of the box. Super weird. Uh, I've never seen the movie. I've heard that I should watch it though because it's very interesting. The quality on the shorts is actually very nice. It's got good quality to it and it's actually got like the, the fishnets on the inside like 90s like swim trunks do. So the quality is actually very nice. And these are selling. There's a big cult following for Killer Clowns and since they're such nice quality people are actually buying it. And it's selling for around 25 give or take. Same thing if you want to wait for an auction, usually a few dollars cheaper. Buy it now, a few dollars more. But very good quality. So I was kind of surprised on that because their quality has been dipping a little bit. Then the only other item is a pin from Teen Wolf. Nothing super special about it. I'm not sure why they changed from the circular backs. They did that for like 10 years and switched to squares. I'm just, it, not really good or bad, I'm just curious why. Uh, so that... Um, that one's being listed for 12 but it's not selling for that. I think that's a pretty fair price. Pins from this box usually go from like 8 to 10 somewhere around there, so that's kind of where I'd value it at. But if you wanted to buy it, you would have to pay 12 although no one is, because it's not a particularly amazing pin. So that brings our value on the low end of 49 on the high end of 52 This is a $40 box. I used to always have it around because it was so cheap. And they used to have a referral for program, so it was always free. And now it's one of the more expensive boxes. 40 bucks. So on the low end, which I would definitely price it at, you're only getting a little bit more than you paid for it. Like 20 per, no, 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 let's see, 48, da, 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 yeah, 20% more than you paid for, something like that. Which is not great. No, that's not really good. And you only got three items, which I don't think is enough. I've said this for a while. You need at least four. I think the box should have at least four items. Put something else extra in there. I think they should aim for five. Three is not enough. And also, you got a shirt, shorts, and a pin. Like, this is just like a clothing box now. And nothing against that. There's nothing wrong with getting clothing boxes. But that's not why I ordered this. I ordered this because I want a collectible box. I want things to collect and not things to wear necessarily because the quality of their shirts suck anyway. So it's just kind of weird that they did two clothing items at the same time. If you're going to do shorts, bail on the t-shirt one month. Don't do the t-shirt one month. Put the shorts in and put other stuff. Mix it up. Just one clothing item. So it seemed a little heavy on the clothing. And I'm rambling, but the score on this is going to be a 5 out of 10. It was still worth it, I'd say, but really not by much. The quality of the shorts was good. quality of everything else was average to below average. So just barely skating by at a 5 out of 10. All right, next. Marvel Collector Core. The Marvels. This box I actually kind of liked. So, I, I know a lot of people are hating on that movie, by the way. Everyone thinks it looks so stupid. I think it looks okay. Like, I'm going to go watch it. I'm not expecting it to be amazing by any means, but it's good enough for me to watch. And I, I love Goose. I think he's one of the coolest characters. I could give a shit less about anyone else, but Goose is cool. I'll watch it just for him. So, that, oh. Pup's farting over here. So, shirt, da -da -da, the Marvels, got a little more, they've been doing more like artistic style lately, but doing like monotone things and stuff like that. So I appreciate that they're trying to put a little art touch into it versus just having like pop tees with pop characters on there. So at least they're putting a little touch on it. And the quality is much, much better. I talked about last video after I pulled it out, the quality seemed like it dipped a lot. It seems now like it's back to its usual thing, which is good. So, I'm not sure what happened last month with the Guardians box, but that shirt was just terrible. Pup, quit it. That shirt was just terrible quality. Like, there was 
I'm not really sure why. I don't know if they ran out of the good ones and they just had to replace it. I don't know. But this one's very, very nice in quality. So for that reason, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. It'll get the standard $12 to $15 value, but good quality, good enough design. And they did it before the movie, which I appreciate. I've been saying that for a while. It always comes after the movie, but the only time I'd really wear that specific shirt is probably to the movie. So, so we got the shirt, good quality shirt, and then we got two pop figures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We got Goose and his Fleur Kittens, and then we got Captain Marvel. These are actually both really nice. They've been kind of missing on the pops lately, the ones they've been putting in. They've been putting more obscure characters and really crappy versions of them, but these actually turned out well. Once again, I said I loved Goose. Didn't even really care about the first Marvel movie, Captain Marvel movie, but I have the Goose Pop. It's right up here, and I actually got like the flocked version too because I thought he was a cool character. So I like this, and it comes with the Fleur Kittens. Which I think is adorable and it actually comes with one that's like separate so it's not like a whole piece that like sits separately from it very very cool I like that a lot and the value on that's pretty high that's going for about $35 which is high for these a, a little bit above average but I think that people feel the same way like we care less about Captain Marvel but Goose is a badass character we, it's just really cool cat then we got Captain Marvel, and you can't really see it from the video. It's going to be hard to show a picture even if I try to, but very, very detailed. Even down to her suit, it's got a lot of detail and texture to it and a lot of uh, like energy like glowing around her body. So again, not even a huge Captain Marvel fan, but this pop actually looks pretty badass. Like They did a really good job on it. Still not crazy value, a little bit above average. It's going for between like 18 and 22 which is a little more than they usually do. Lately, they've been in that like $15 range because they've just kind of sucked. So 18 to 22 on that. Then we got the pin and decal. I always group these together because the decal is just like so rarely ever worth anything on its own. But the pin kind of is. That's been going for about 15 bucks. Again, same situation. I wish they put backs on them for the millionth time, but just a popular character. So people do actually want that pin and it's got the little kitten. So 15 bucks on that, so actually pretty good. That brings our value on the low end of 70 on the high end of 87. This is only a $30 box. So that's fantastic. Even on the low end, you're getting more than double your value. Like I just said, you shouldn't expect more than 50% more than you pay for in this market, in this climate, just because it's everyone's going through a rough time. So the fact that they're going back to the old ways and still giving double the value is fantastic. And on the high end, you're getting almost triple the value which it's not completely unreasonable to value it more on that high end. Somewhere in between there as always, but still, that's pretty fantastic. So as far as the score, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Really like the pops, really like that they ch chose Goose, and on the pin, love that. Quality of the shirt's great. The design on the shirt's kind of up for debate whether you like those characters and care about pop tees. And even the Captain Marvel pop is a really cool version of it, so I'm pretty excited. So I will wear that shirt at the movie just as I should. And the next box, X-Men 97. Fuck yeah. Super excited about that. I hope we get something with Gambit on there. Probably not, but I hope we do. So I'm very excited for that next box. So that was Marvel Collector Core, The Marvels, 9 out of 10. Next, we got Zobie. All right, let's see what we got here. Got a shirt, not super great. Real boxy, thick shirt. I can't even remember what it's from. It says on the card. Du, 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 du. Succession? Never seen it. So don't get the reference. But at least they're branching out a little bit. It's usually just words, so at least they're putting pictures on a little. So, but the quality's never been great. Standard $12 to $15 value, but it, the score on the shirt, only a 5 out of 10. Pretty average, nothing great. Then we got an autograph. Paola Lazaro. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. From The Walking Dead. I don't know this character. I stopped watching The Walking Dead a long time ago. Back when like Rick left the show, it was like, ooh. It just went on way too long. I'm sure I'm not even sure if this is from the original series. It could be from one of the spin-off ones, but that show just got very boring, so I stopped watching it. I'm sure it's great, so I'm happy to have the autograph. I'm sure she was a cool character. Don't know much about her, but her autograph is going for about $35, which is good. That's on the high end of autographs, so that is very good. Then we got a mug. It says exclusive Zobie coffee mug, but I looked this up and there are just a million and one versions of this mug exactly. So I'm not sure what they think is exclusive about it, but it's been done a million times. But the value on that, about $10.
which is pretty standard for mugs. We used to get mugs all the time in these boxes. I'm glad it's not the case anymore. I just, I've just i never used a mug. Like, what do you use mugs for? Who knows? Next, we got a pin. I actually got the limited edition one, but the regular one was cool too. They just do fantastic pins. Uh, this one's going for, not this one specifically, not the rare one, but the just common one's going for around 15 bucks, which I think is fair. They really do a nice job in their pins. Super detailed, good size, good quality, all around good stuff. So that brings our value on the low end, 72, on the high end, 75. Not a huge range there, but this is also a $50 box, very close to BAM. A little bit more on the value, pretty close to 50% more. Not quite there, but basically there. Yeah, I'd say basically there. Uh, so pretty good, but I didn't really love the items in here. The shirt is the same as the art print and BAM box, just kind of there. It's never any good. It's never worth anything. Nobody cares about it, but it's there. The mug, fucking useless. I, what am I going to do with it? I probably could never even sell it. It's not even worth my time to sell. Pin was cool. Autograph, I'm sure, is cool, but it goes for a decent amount. So all those things considered, 6.5 out of 10. It was worth it. It was decent. Just nothing great about it. So that was Zoe. Next, we got some big ones. Friends box, box from Culture Fly. Now, I used to have the Office and the Friends one. I have canceled them both. Nothing against them. They're just a very expensive box. It's 60 bucks for these. And it was just, honestly, I was, I'm, I love the Office, but I'm not a huge Office fan. And I'm more of a Friends fan anyway, but it was just too expensive. It was $120 to get both of them here. And it was just too much. And there was not a lot of value into it. So maybe when things pick up a little bit, maybe I'll get back into them. I do like Culture Fly, but I'm going to stick with Pusheen for a while. But this is the last Friends one we'll be getting. So first, we got a button down. Actually, a very nice button down. I know you can't tell, but the quality on this is great. Very, very soft. Very nice material. And I, the whole time I was looking at it, I was like, I thought it was from an episode, but it's not. It actually says Friends on there. It's just hard to see it because it's white. So it's not from anything. It's not like it was worn. It's just a shirt. It looks like the one that Joey wore in Barbados. So it looks very similar to that. It's not a replica of it, but similar to that style. Very nice in quality, but surprisingly not going for a lot. Only going for like 50 to uh, 15 to 20 bucks. So this box specifically, I'm gonna do a lot of guesstimations because as you, if you watch my other videos, there is just no information on these. I'm pretty sure there's only like two people in the world buying these boxes, me and one other person. So there's no information, they're not selling. The one other person that buys all these boxes lists them on eBay, but wants ridiculous prices for them and they never sell. So most of these are my guesstimations. So based on other shirts of this quality, of friends, all the information, I would value it at 15 to 20. One person was trying to sell it for 50, never gonna happen. And it's the same person, I keep seeing the same person listing these high prices, never gonna sell. Sorry to break that to you. Next, got a duffel bag. Mm -hmm. Nothing super special about it, not super big. But, you know, it's like decent in quality, like standard duffel bag. This is, kind of feels like ones that you would get for free at a lot of places. I remember back in the day, whenever you would open a bank account, they would give you something like this or buy cologne. So nothing super special. Value on that is like 15 to 20. Nothing super expensive, you know, average. Then we got a cap. It says, I'd rather be watching Friends and some fancy writing. And it's that like burlap potato sack kind of material that like stitched. I'm sure there's an appropriate name for it. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is. That, 12 to 15 bucks. Very standard, this caps these days. Unless there's something very rare, it's a specific brand. 12 to 15, just like shirts, is just a very standard value. Then we got a glass. This is like the size of a whiskey glass. It looks like a shot glass, but it's not. I'll actually keep this, this is nice. So this goes for like 10 to 12. I think that's a fair valuation. Similar ones have sold, same situation. Like I didn't find any information on this specifically, but this cup's been made a billion different times since 94. Like they've always made a similar cups, similar styles. They all sell for around that. There's no reason why this one specifically would be more. So 10 to 12 on that. Then we got a beach ball. I'm not gonna blow this up. <laughs> I'll try to find a picture of it, but eight to ten bucks I think is more than fair evaluation. These you can get at like the dollar store. Wouldn't say friends on it, but I'm just saying beach balls are not exactly expensive. So I think eight to ten is a fair evaluation. Then we got a pin. It says we were on a break. Really nice pin. The pins on in this box have been fantastic. 
but I'm giving it that 12 to 15 dollar value as almost all these high quality pins go for. So that brings our value on the low end of 72, on the high end of 92. This is a $60 box, so not much more. Even on that high end, which is, is a rough estimation, you're not even getting 50% more than you paid for. And honestly, again, I'll say it again, these valuations were very generous. I don't even think you would get that much if you tried to sell. I think you'd get less than that. I'm just trying to be fair and give it a good judgment. So for that being said, you still got a lot of stuff in here, and it all was like good quality stuff nothing was like super cheaply made it just wasn't really like fancy items per se so given all that i'm i'm gonna give this box a six out of ten it was still really good and it's obviously you're not getting it unless you like friends so i think anyone would enjoy the box it's just not one of those things that's for the resale market so that's what it's all about half, uh, a lot of times because if you don't like something in the box you want to know that you can sell it so you're taking more of a risk here because you can't sell anything so if you don't like something, you're going to have a very difficult time trying to sell it and recoup some of your money. So that's a major downside here. But just speaking from a friend's fan, if you just wanted to enjoy some knickknacks and things from the show, then you would absolutely love the box and I would recommend it for you. So 6 out of 10 on that. And the last one. Pusheen. Summer box. This one never fails. So first, we got a towel poncho. Kind of a weird combination, but it is a towel material. I do like the towel robes, so I, I you know, I might use something like this. I like the big towel, so that works. Uh, and it's got nice stitching on it. Very well done. All good stuff. But the, honestly, the value on this is pretty low. A lot of these values are a lot lower. Again, Say it a million times, market's in decline, hard to sell stuff, so the values are lower, but surprisingly low. This is only going for like 15 to 20 bucks, um, which is not crazy for just like a random towel poncho, but a Pusheen one, that usually that would go for a little bit more, so kind of surprised it's to see it only going for 15 to 20. Then we got a visor. Pusheen is an ice cream cone. We'll see him a lot during this box. Nothing else super special about it. Velcro, a little bit nicer. 12 bucks on that. Pretty standard value for a visor. So it seems like these prices are going down to just regular prices for the item, and Pusheen's not really boosting the value anymore. Then we got a sand coaster, which is actually a pretty cool idea. I, I'm sure this is the not the first time someone's invented it. I'm sure these have been around, but I've never seen one. I've never seen a sand coaster, and I live right next to the beach. So this is pretty cool, but it uh, doesn't go for a lot, 10 to 12. It's, it's just plastic. It's cheap little plastic, so nothing super special there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Then we got a little phone pouch, and this is, it's not real leather, but it's like that leather-ish material, like that faux leather, so nice quality on it, but this is being listed for 12 to 15 online, not selling for that though, so just keep that in mind. If you wanted to buy it, you'd pay 12 to 15, but it's not selling for that price. I'd value it closer to 10, but we'll stick with the 12 to 15, just to be fair. Figure, pushing is the ice cream cone. So yeah, that's going for 18 to 20. Pretty standard for figures, a little bit lower than usual. Then, what do we got here? Uh, tote bag. More pushing as the ice cream cone. Nothing super special here, 12 to 15 on that. Tote bags are just very common. And the last thing is a pool floaty. This is a donut. So I'm sure you can ex extrapolate that. It comes all the way out in a circle, so it's about that size. So pretty standard, like a smaller one. But that goes for about 12 to 15. So overall, our value on the low end is 90, on the high end, 109. This is a $60 box, so you're definitely getting at least 50% more than you pay for. So this is a great box, but not as good as it has been. I don't think that's necessarily their fault. I think the market is just in a weird place and things are just selling for cheaper or not selling at all. I don't think it's their fault. The quality didn't dip from what I can see. It seems pretty the same to me. But it is what it is, the values are lower, but still overall great box. Technically this is the worst one we've gotten because the value's been the lowest, but still much better than the average box, so really nothing to complain about. So I'm still gonna keep this box around. That all being said, 7.5 out of 10 on that. Very much worth it, very cool stuff, very usable things, and the things you don't want or can't use could very easily sell it, so really no problem there. So overall, a great box. So that's it. That's all the boxes 
of the month. And sorry it's taken me a while to get this one out. It was actually my birthday weekend, so I had a party and all that. That's why the party table is still sitting right there. So I've been a little jam-packed. I'm not sure when this will get posted out because I'll be doing birthday stuff. But let me know all your thoughts in the comments. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you want to hear, want advice on something, want to value on something, feel free to hit me up. I'm always around to answer questions, anything you need. Other than that, thank you for watching and supporting. See you on the next video. Love you all. Peace.